Let's have a look at all the new things added to Planet Zoo with the new free update 1.15. As always, huge thanks to Frontier for giving me the early access to this update so I can show you guys everything a little bit earlier. There are some really exciting things included in this update, so without any further ado, let's see them all. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. The first thing that we'll have a look at, and for me the most exciting thing, are those new viewing domes. This is such a cool thing, and this is so amazing to have the guests having this, like, really close encounter with our actual animals in Planet Zoo. Just look how close they are to this meerkat. Of course, I had to add it to the meerkat habitat. Everyone loves meerkat, and I think that something like this would work perfectly uh, for a meerkat habitat in a real zoo. So those are the viewing domes. Uh, we also have this new building that is used uh, to, you know, teleport the guests somehow uh, to those viewing bubbles. But uh, this is so, so cool. In a second, I will show you uh, the quick tutorial on how to set them up. But before that, let me quickly show you how they work underwater. So, as you can clearly see, we can place them under the water and this is just so, so amazing. I mean, just look at it. Just look at the views that those guests get. It, they can see the, uh, the penguins diving underwater. It works for all the animals uh, and it is so easy to set up. I will show you guys everything in a second, but I just wanted to show you this because for me, this is such a game changer and such a cool thing to have in your Zeus. So the new viewing dome comes with three different like pieces or parts. Uh, we have the actual dome that you are placing in the habitat. You have a sign for it. And you also have this building that the guests use to enter uh, the actual dome. To use it, to make it usable, you need to place it on your barrier of the actual habitat. So this is really important for it to work properly. Of course, you can decorate it however you want. Of course, you can uh, just hide the entrance and the guests will still be able to enter. It doesn't need to look like this, but it is important that you place this on uh, the actual a barrier and I will show you everything in a second. And we also get this sign and this sign is recolorable as well. So we can somehow maybe use it for different things built with it and so on. It is, it has some, some potential, I would say. Uh, so yeah, let's move over to the quick uh, tutorial. And by the way, this is of course all recolorable. So you can do uh, everything you want with uh, those pieces. Also this you can change the color of everything in here so uh, you can adjust it to your liking okay so let's learn how you can actually place the viewing domes inside of your habitat so firstly what we need is an actual habitat so let's build it if you'll go to the barrier stop right now you'll see that we have this new viewing dome entrance so let's place the habitat we can do it by simply placing some uh, some barriers so just let's do a very like easy thing uh, by you know placing some straight concrete barriers uh, okay and now if we'll place this it automatically snaps to uh, to your barrier uh, and what is important is that uh, when you click it for uh, for on it right now it won't work because it requires a habitat which means that you need to place the habitat gate for it to work uh, so if you'll place the habitat gate somewhere right now, it should work. What is also uh, very important to mention is that it needs power. So you need to have a power generator somewhere or just if you are playing in sandbox, it doesn't really matter if you have this uh, option uh, disabled for uh, for power needs and so on. Uh, then you can go to the dome network and place the dome. So this menu pops up and you can place uh, how many of those things as you like. Uh, you cannot place them too, too close to each other. You can also not place them too close to the habitat. It is uh, important that you place it actually inside of the habitat because if you will place it outside, it won't work. Uh, there's no limit, as I told you guys. Uh, you can do whatever you want with them. Just keep in mind that you cannot place them too close to the barriers and you cannot place them too close to the enrichment items. Uh, but if we'll click right now for it on them, uh, it says open, so this means those uh, viewing domes works. 
uh, uh, work and those ones uh, doesn't work because they are not inside of the habitat and it said habitat required. So I think you get what I mean. What I also forgot to show you when we were in the zoo that I created for the showcase of this uh, free update is that you can enter the camera view. Uh, so it looks like that. Uh, those are the lines that we saw in the teaser for the domes and the, some people thought that it's a maybe a 360 camera and it sort of is but it is inside the, uh, the viewing dome. Uh, okay and I think that it is all when it comes uh, to the viewing domes. What is also uh, like cool and important if you are playing for example in franchise that they need to be cleaned for from time to time so you, call, you have to call your care caretakers or add them to your work rosters. Uh, so that, that the caretaker can come from time to time in here and and just clean them. If you would like to place the viewing dome under the water, all you need to do is create a habitat with the water section, but the game wouldn't won't allow you to place the dome in uh, in the water. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But what you need to do uh, is simply uh, delete the water from here, and then. Add your viewing dome, so place dome, add it somewhere here and then you should be able to add the water back up and it will work. So just remember to firstly add the domes and then add the water and it should work just fine. So another new thing that makes me so happy is the new orangutan brachiation. Finally, our orangutans are able to brachiate. This is their natural way of moving in trees in their natural habitat. So it's so cool to see that. Let's actually unpause the game. Uh, oh, it wasn't long one, so, but <laughs> you could see clearly that uh, it was brachiating. Uh, they are doing it on those long, ver long vertical posts. Maybe I will be able to catch one of them <laughs> doing it for a longer time. So here we have another brachiating orangutan. It looks so good. I'm so happy that they added it. So, so, so amazing. And so happy that those guys actually can do it. Finally. Here we can see the orangutan just playing on the log. It is so good. Uh, and yeah, the brachiation is such an amazing addition. I am so happy that they are still uh, adding things like this to the base game animals. What I also should mention is that to actually brachiate the uh, orangutans need this exact lock. Uh, so this is the uh, climbable lock. Doesn't matter how long it is, uh, as long as this is this thickness, it cannot be the thin one, it needs to be this one, uh, they are able to brachiate and it should be more like a vertical piece, just like with our Siamanx. Uh, so yeah, if, you'll be, uh, if you will uh, make sure to add them, you will see uh, the brachiation animation from time to time. Uh, I added those islands for them to have some reasons to, you know, climb and to go, so I will see that often and they are doing it from time to time and it looks amazing. But the orangutans aren't the only older Planet Zoo animals that got some love in this update because the king penguins from the Arctic pack also got some new color variations and they are totally beautiful. So we got the melanistic, leucistic, brown and xantic versions. Uh, I will show you them in a second but firstly huge shout out to Leaf for all the tutorials about installing mods because without mods I wouldn't be able to show you guys all of those colorations because it was so hard to find them. Uh, on the workshop, but I was really uh, quickly uh, in, like instructed how to install mods by his YouTube videos. I did it and I was able to find them without any problems, so let's see them. So here we have the Zantic coloration. It is basically a yellow penguin. Such a weird looking and also cool looking animal. Uh, it has uh, like this really pale yellow beak and feet. It has a yellow hat and it is very light when it's where it's supposed to be uh, basically black. Uh, it is so cool. I just love it. The eyes also look amazing. Uh, and if you'll go uh, to uh, its uh, its menu, you clearly have here Zantic yellow and white feather coat with yellow markings. The next variant that we'll have a look at is the brown variant. So you can clearly see that this penguin is a bit like paler than the ones that surround it. So uh, it is actually the brown, uh, brown mutation, pale brown with white feather coat with yellow markings. And it is so cool to also get those like more subtle uh, color variations as you guys can see in here. 
So here we have the melanistic version, which basically means that instead of having a white belly, it has a black belly, such a unique looking penguin. Uh, and so cool that they were added. So uh, as always in here, you can see that this is a melanistic black feather coat with dark yellow markings. And let's have a look at the last one. So here we have my probably favorite variant of them all. This is the um, leucistic one. Uh, those re irregular patches just look so, so amazing. It also has this like uh, yellow patch on a head and it has uh, like red eyes and also has those patches on the feet, which is so amazing to see. I am so happy that those penguins got some love. It brings some more like interesting factor to their, ha uh, to their exhibit that they are not all looking the same. We have some other ones and this one looks so like realistic to me that's something like you would normally uh, maybe see in a big group of penguins uh, it is of course a leucistic dark gray uh, dark gray and white speckled feathered coat with yellow markings uh, so yeah this is all when it comes to the coloration of our penguins so happy that they added it because uh, again this is such an amazing additional layer uh, to uh, our penguins and i just love to see how they dive in here with those viewing domes it is so amazing i know that you guys will love this one because i most certainly do we basically got a new map uh, in planet zoo and i believe that this is the best map so far uh, it works in all the modes so it doesn't matter if you play in franchise and sandbox and so on uh, all you need to go do is go to the oceania and click here uh, on the temperate uh, biome and open a new zoo. Maybe let's make it sculpture to make it look a bit more interesting. Uh, and let's create a new zoo. I believe that this works for all uh, the users. Doesn't matter if you have the new DLC or not, uh, as said in the uh, in the update notes. So uh, yeah, you probably will get it as well. But just look at it. It is actually an island map. So we finally have like an island. We don't need to do it anymore with the dioramas like some people did. Uh, we just can open a new zoo on the island. And you can clearly see when it starts, when it finishes. Uh, so it is quite big, maybe not one of the biggest maps in the game, but it's still quite big. You can build some really cool things in here. Uh, and this is so, so amazing. Just look at it. You can clearly see that it ends somewhere in the back, but Still, such an amazing thing. And I believe that the late designer, she started <laughs> the new series recently where, he, where she created her own islands. And we just, uh, like several weeks after that, we are getting this. So poor lady, she had to work probably a lot on this island. And right now we can all have it just by a few clicks. We have a new island map and it looks amazing. What we also get with this new DLC are the new plants uh, and they are for free. So all you need to do is update your game and you will get all of those plants for free and they are amazing. Those are actually called the golden sun sedges. Uh, we have quite a lot of them. We have those bigger patches and we have individual plants. And we also have those really interesting pieces in here that are slightly like tilted. I was a bit confused when I saw them at first, but what I think is that you place them or on slopes or on roofs or anything like that and then they make more sense because uh, it sort of looks like they are you know just tilted by the uh by the wind or anything like that but yeah we also get them in uh, in the dry version so they are uh, the same ones as the green version but in more like uh, uh, yellowish colors and we also get this amazing new plant that I cannot believe that is actually free because it is so good uh, it is the Kaha Kaha I hope that I'm pronouncing this right uh, plant and it is also a, like a plant that is supposed to grow on something for example on barks of the uh, of the palm trees or, or some buildings or anything like that but you can totally place it down into the ground and it looks amazing as a uh, as a grass or anything uh, I just love them so much. Such an amazing plant and so happy that we have are, we are getting uh, such a beautiful plants basically for free. And last but not least, here we have the new volcanic rock set. So uh, remember our natural rocks from Planet Zoo that were normal set. Now we get them uh, all in the new color, which is the volcanic color. So this is basically meant to be a volcanic rock. Uh, they are so cool. They are the, the darkest shade of the rocks that we have in the game right now. Uh, and I already played with them in one of the habitats for the 
uh, for the Oceania pack showcase for the little penguin and they are really really amazing uh, so yeah I think that a lot of people will be excited that we are finally getting uh, a new rock set because it was quite a long time since we get one so uh, yeah so 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 cool of Frontier to get us uh, to give us the new rock set finally Okay guys, so this is all when it comes to this new free update 1.15. I really love it. I think that this is a really solid free update. I especially love the viewing domes, I love the new colorations for the penguins and I also love that the orangutan is able to brachiate now. This is so amazing that they are still adding things to those very old animals that we have in the game for so many years. It is very highly possible that I didn't include everything that comes in this update in this video because I didn't get any notes, like full notes about the update. There can be some hidden things, there can be uh, like new color variations, sometimes we get the, those uh, and other things that I just uh, didn't see, I didn't have much time. It was a very crazy weekend to record all those videos. Uh, so if you'll find something, definitely let me know down in the comments. Maybe there are some other very cool things that I didn't know about. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like to see the full showcase of the new Oceania pack, it is also out on my channel right now, so the link will be on the screen and in the description down below. If you liked the video, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video like this, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below what is your favorite part of the new free update. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!